The Red Stars will look to improve goal scoring with Kalia Watt at that striker position. She's got two goals and two assists. So how Chicago can find a way to get it done against that Portland Thorns team who's looked very consistent all season long will be interesting to see how they field it. Underway here from the Chicago area between the Red Stars and the Thorns. Very critical goal in the last few minutes and she was able to provide the opportunity. She got the goal. Watt with the cross, settled nicely. The fake, the shot, saved by Bixby. If they want to convert those crosses coming into the box, Watt takes a fantastic touch away from goal and finds right at the top of the 18. She's able. 16th minute, still scoreless. Here's a corner for the Red Stars. It's headed off target. Set to take the corner. Bit outside, headed wide of the target. Aaron pass from Pew, looking for Watt. Watt on the ball now. Back to Pew, gets ahead on it. Here's Hill. The shot, Bixby with the save. It's a great ball in from Kaylea Watt. Mallory Pugh sees she doesn't have a chance on the ball, so she lets Hill deal with it part and piece of this team with the Portland Thorns and she's only going to get better as she plays within this club with some top players in the country. Through ball looking for Dunn. Crystal Dunn cuts back, lays it for Sinclair off the post and in! A remarkable goal for the Portland Thorns! Unexpected moments are when the Portland Thorns are going to attack. No space in front of her to get an opportunity. And Crystal Dunn sees she doesn't have a great chance. Sinclair sees that spot on the upper left side of the, the goal. Sinclair just with one touch, her instep, she's able to redirect the ball, convert for herself. But with any other player around her is so impressive and has made her clearly one of the best players. On the, the other end, Bixby parries. What? A goal for Chicago, and they tie it up just seconds later. Kaylea Watt, her third of the season. Tina Cross comes in from Hill, and Bixby makes a huge mistake of letting that ball come out of her hand. She needs to get on top of that one. Kaylea Watt just needs to have the composure to finish with her instep. Find it past Minga. Finds Pew. Hill to her right. The cross, the shot right to Bixby. Hill with some big crosses in this game. Very fast to just one touch it into the box. Pew with a great touch with her right foot. Watt. Kalia Watt still dribbling. Takes the shot and Bixby able to make the grab. Good idea by Kalia Watt how they were looking before they were going into the FIFA break. Yeah, he and the internationals left the very next day. The cross, the shot, Bixby parries and saves. Perhaps one more chance for the Thorns. Sinclair, through ball, Weaver. It was a beautiful pass. Moultrie, deflected, and there is the halftime whistle in a draw. Portland, of course, sitting still in first place. For Chicago, every point matters. Of course, they want the victory here at home, but every point can be crucial. Chicago Red Stars need those three points to keep bumping up in the playoff spot so they can be in a comfortable position as they head to the last few games of the season. Essentially, my strategy when playing FIFA, you just do it all at once. Here's a run for Chicago. Kalia Watt into the box. Sauerbrunn on top of her. Watt with this shot off target. Di Bernardo settles. The cross. Headed up by Klingenberg, out by Sauerbrunn. Gatrol with the shot right to Bixby. So certainly a bit of a surprise when she did not start the game. But it looks like she will play the entirety of the second half. Here's Sophia Smith. Into the box, the shot parried and sent away. Sophia, Sophia Smith so quick on the dribble. Davidson's forcing her off to the wide spot. Doesn't want to allow Smith to have a good angle on frame, so she's keeping her hips. Corner here for Klingenberg. 
Headed by Sauerbrunn and saved at the goal line. Portland. Corner kick, a third corner kick from Portland. Kaylee Awan in a foot race with Sauerbrunn. Watt with the burners on. Kaylee Awan just wide off the deflection. And allow for more players to get in the box. There was four players in the box for Chicago. Portland was dropping a lot in numbers. The cross, the finish! Chicago takes the lead over the league leaders. Completing goals on those crosses is exactly what the Chicago team has been working so hard on. The fantastic touch down the sidelines. She beats her defender with one quick touch and Rachel Hill on the far side of the screen. She's making that run in. It's such a quick ball in, but it's timed perfectly. Rachel Hill doesn't overrun the play. For Rachel Hill, Hill so far as of now has the go ahead goal, potential game winner. Another corner, it's low, headed by Sauerbrunn. Colaprico comes in and then Katie Johnson will enter for Mallory Pugh. If you're a Red Stars fan, you're happy to see Di Bernardo get as many minutes as she did tonight, over 86 minutes. Di Bernardo coming off an injury, seeing her be effective in the midfield. Chicago Red Stars could get three really big points from, for themselves tonight. Foul called. And an especially sweet result if it's a win that comes with three points. And there is the final whistle. The Chicago Red Stars defeat the first place Portland Thorns.